Hey everybody, welcome back once again to the motherboards.org YouTube channel. I'm Elric Ferris, your host. Today I'm coming to you with my co-host JJ from ASUS and today we're going to be taking a look at one of their latest ROG motherboards to hit the market. Now this motherboard is based off the new Z77 chipset and this is the new and I mean very exciting Maximus Formula 5 motherboard. A lot of you guys out there have been asking a lot of questions, asking me when I'm going to get this, when I'm going to have it in my hands. Well, today we're going to bring you a world's first exclusive little preview video, and I'm going to hand this board over to Mr. JJ and let him explain some of the great features on this new motherboard from Asus. Thanks, Doc. So, uh, like you said, this is a, uh, an early engineering sample. This is going to be indicative of the overall look and finish of the board. So, pretty much what we're going to be talking about are finalized features. Um, there are going to be some slight changes uh, to the audio section, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that when we get to that part of the board. But definitely one of the most unique characteristics you can see here is the new thermofusion water block design. So, the really cool part about this is that it's a design that works both under water cooled configurations, but it also works fully in a passive configuration. So, the majority of our users, of course, are going to have this equipped in a normal air configuration and you're still going to get great performance even under overclock configurations but like you've shown actually in overclock systems that you guys have set up that you get even better performance and even better stability under overclock configurations if you go ahead and incorporate a water block design most assuredly and this actually leaves a lot of options for people to do a step up if somebody just wants to start off with their board and they're not really sure about doing the water cooling but then later on they decide they want to go it it's great to have a motherboard that allows that option built right onto the motherboard itself and jay said this this now actually is going to light up, right? That's correct. That's, That's one of the first things I actually noticed. <laughs> yeah, it's actually called our ROG Eye. This is actually our branding kind of eye. And we've had that on previous generation boards, but we decided to bring it back because a lot of people are asking back to go ahead and, and add that kind of little edgy flair, you know, that the boards always have. So that's a really cool point as well. Now, with the Formula series, the focus is really always about high performance, high functionality, especially catered towards enthusiast gamers. So of course we have SLI Crossfire support, but one of the new additions as well is down here. In this section, this is our Supreme FX4. So you guys have shown already the Supreme FX3 design that we had like on the Rampage 4 formula, the gene board. And yeah, the Extreme, the gene, the formula, all of them had that same solution, correct? Just actually the formula and the gene. And also on Z77, of course, we had it on the Maximus, uh, Maximus board. But for this generation, we're kicking it up to the next level. We're bringing discrete class audio performance and integrating that directly onto the motherboard. You still get the full independent trace design where we're separating essentially this section of the board from the rest of the board. So you get really great performance. We minimize any type of isolation uh, in terms that could impact this, this, this section, impacting the sound quality or causing any type of interference or any type of problems like that. So pretty much it's basically like if you guys out there notice anything, there's the thing called a Zonar. So pretty much this is basically like having a Zonar solution, but already on your motherboard, completely discreet from other electronics, running very quiet and very great but without taking up additional hardware on the board, right? That's correct. I mean, definitely if you're looking for the highest class of audio, then you're still gonna have options in terms of like our upcoming Zonar Phoebus sound card. It's gonna be an awesome card in its own right, but definitely if you want really outstanding Glamour class audio with a specialized presets for like different types of gaming environments, like racing, first person, RTS, they'll all be customized and tuned specifically with the hardware that we're gonna be incorporating. And definitely when you guys get to see the final board, we'll go more into what makes that audio design really special. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I'll of that of course we've got a whole bunch of awesome things on this board such as you know really high-end specialized VRM design with the Nichicon GT caps you know we've got the T topology memory design for high performance DRAM clocking you know we've got a PLX for more active connectivity so you can keep everything set up you've got you know Intel NIC you're gonna have actually that mini PCIe combo card which allows you to run wireless and M set simultaneously at the same time so pretty much this is gonna be you know the top end board that we're going to be releasing on ROG and for the Z77 chipset and definitely uh, once you guys take a look at the MP product when it comes out shortly you'll be able to go into all the features. Let's talk about the power requirements yeah. up on top. I see that on here we have an 8 and a 4 pin power connector here on top and most boards only have an 8. What's this signify JJ? Um, this is just going to be focused for the extreme enthusiasts so guys that are going to be pushing the board in situations where the board gets significantly colder you can sometimes lose electrical efficiency so sometimes you need secondary power to go ahead and maybe be able to maintain the performance that you're attempting to shoot towards. So this isn't going to be really used by the normal user, but guys that are really looking to push the boards, it's going to be a secondary option to give you more power. So hey, you guys saw it here first. This is the new Maximus 5 Formula Motherboard with all kinds of great high-end features. Now I believe this board will be hitting the market sometime mid next month. Am I correct on that, JJ? It should be around that time frame. So be looking for the full review and full in-depth specs here at motherboards.org next month. Thanks for watching. And thanks for being here, JJ. Thank you.